Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourselves right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. We're now tuning in to great days. So I'm gonna go over meditation today. Uh, and I'm pretty much going to discuss how to actually meditate. You know, for people who are trying to get into meditation right now and who have come across this video. I'm pretty much just going to teach it as simply as I can uh, how to get into meditation, how to actually, um, how to actually just let things flow a little bit more, you know, because uh, this is one of the main problems when starting to get into meditation. So uh, this is pretty much going to be the video today. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically teach a little um, meditation or or how to get into meditation. Okay, so. Let's get right into it. Today's video is how to meditate. Now, so meditation, if you don't know what meditation is already, meditation is literally uh, the art of becoming more aware, you know, uh, Meditation is literally just expanding your awareness to uh, more dimension, you know, and and this is as simply a, as uh, this is simply what meditation is, the the most simplest way that I can explain it, um, just the art of becoming more aware. Now you can make anything meditation, okay? You can do walking meditation. You can uh, meditate while you're eating. You can meditate playing video games. Listening to music is a meditation. Making music is a meditation. Uh, or you can do sitting meditation. You can uh, literally just sit in like lotus or, or cross leg. And uh, you can just watch your thought or watch your breath. You know, um, but you don't always need to. You know, this is probably like one of the most uh, well-known ways to meditate, you know. But it's not the only uh, way to meditate. You can make anything a meditation. Uh, you can make your whole life a meditation, you know, because it's literally just the art of becoming more aware. Um, it can be many arts as well. But um, at the end of it, the whole, uh, the whole, the whole benefit of meditating is to pretty much come into an expanded awareness, you know, which will actually lead to. Uh, communion with, with God or you can actually dissolve into the totality of uh, the universe you know and and this is actually uh, why one would actually do the meditation in the first place okay so for anybody who's actually getting into meditation um, as they're listening to this right now uh, I want to say that meditation it's one of the most beneficial things that anybody could ever do in their life to, to begin. Um, and if you find yourself having trouble beginning meditation, then then chances are it's uh, probably just because you're, um, you may be getting distracted or you may have uh, a rising anxiety or, or, or any one of these types of uh, influx of energy, you know. Um, but the the whole thing about these these distractions that can come up with beginning meditation is that um, 
you you need to become aware of these you know and this is what the the starting meditation is all about uh, because you're going from from one uh, dimension into another or into multiple you know you're, you're functioning from one specific space um, before ever starting any type of meditation consciously and uh, as you start shifting into living more meditatively you're gonna start shifting uh, into more um, spatial dimension so it's like as you do this there's gonna be uh, all sorts of energy that has just been um, flowing you know chaotically that you may not always be aware of but but once you start expanding your awareness through the meditation then you're gonna start to understand that uh, there's all of these flows of energies that you did not know before you know and and at the beginning of meditation these flows of energy they can actually uh, be a distraction you know uh, some of the people that, that I've talked to about meditation who have like been trying to get into it they always tell me something about anxiety you know or they just can't sit still for more than 10 minutes uh, and this is usually the case with, with most people I want to say um, they're just overactive they're all over dynamic you know so it's like um, the way to to bypass this or overcome this is to uh, you can find whatever meditation works best for you you know like whatever it is that you enjoy most in your life right now chances are this is already a meditation for you so so just uh do this more you know because you're already doing it undistracting uh without being distracted because it's something you actually truly enjoy and um, in that you can just uh use that as a meditation but if you want to go like the the absolute traditional way of sitting with your eyes closed and, and just watching yourself and, and stilling yourself um then then when it comes to uh, being overactive or, or having anxiety arise, what you can do is you can, uh, you can, uh, I want to say, you can learn, you can teach yourselves, you can teach yourselves very, very slowly how to just uh, allow, your, allow yourself to sit, okay? You don't even need to watch and don't even focus on your breath, don't even focus on your thoughts at first just teach yourself how to sit for for let's say uh 10 to 15 minutes you know and just sit down and then do that more often like if you're somebody who's always needing to do something then learn how to teach yourself to just sit at first you don't even need to have your eyes closed just sit for for 15 or more minutes you know uh and then just do that more often and then uh, once your body learns to start settling itself down for longer, then you can uh, learn to, to start watching your thoughts. You can start sitting with your eyes closed and you can start watching your thought or, you, or your breath. You know, um, I wanna say that, that either or works, okay? But uh, if you wanna go with the more uh, beneficial way, you can watch your breath, okay? And then just practice this for like 10 to 15 minutes more and more and then eventually what's gonna happen is that uh, if it's thoughts that are disturbing you to where you can't sit down for prolonged time then what you're gonna find out is as you sit the body down as you start to bring the body to stillness your mind is gonna follow along the along with the body you know so it's like once you start sitting your body down and once you start relaxing your body, your mind is not going to be so overactive because they're, they're one and the same, okay? So it's like uh, as you start becoming more silent and more still, uh, the mind is going to follow your body, okay? So all you really got to do is just forget about thoughts, no matter how chaotic they can get, or you can watch them. It can work both ways, but... Uh, what you want to do is just learn to to relax the body and and become more still and more silent physically and then uh the the mind is gonna eventually follow what the body is doing so uh just practice this a little bit more and you can start with baby steps if you need to you know um, just by sitting down maybe turn everything off in your house you know when it comes to uh, loud sounds 
and, and just sit in silence, don't even do anything, just sit down, you know, and enjoy the, the space. Um, and then you can start practicing uh, closing your eyes, then you can watch your breath or you can watch your thoughts um, for longer periods of time. And then uh, if you continuously do that, you're gonna start becoming more meditative and then you're gonna start expanding awareness into uh, the space, into the space. And you can start uh, understanding more complex spatial dimension. And this is where meditation really starts to uh, get really, really fun and really, really beneficial. You know, um, and, and that's pretty much how you can start meditation. It's not a hard thing at all. Uh, I wanna say that everybody is in their own way of uh, meditating naturally, you know, because meditation is something that we all uh, do you know uh, if you look at animals in nature in their own nature they're in a state of meditativeness you know because uh, they got to be aware they got to be very alert of things but they got to be in, in a uh, very lax state also you know they got to be very uh, flow or superfluous with nature uh, because this is just the nature of things you know uh, so it's like coming into that flow as well into universal flow is uh, very very meditative you know so it's like if you're somebody who is already very naturally in tune with the with the Tao or the universal flow um, you're a very meditative person and and you may not always need to go the traditional way of sitting down with with closed eyes you know but you're in a state of meditation anyway uh, so it's all about the individual but if you want to go the traditional way of just sitting down closed eyed meditation uh, and you're having trouble with it because you have chaotic thought or you're just overactive or you're uh, anxiety you have anxiety you know whatever it may be uh, you can always start small just by enjoying this st enjoy the stillness first you know don't even try for meditation just enjoy being more silent and, and being more still don't do anything don't even don't watch TV don't get on your phone don't uh, listen to music, don't do anything. Just turn everything off in your house and just enjoy silence and just sit down for 15 to 20 minutes and just enjoy this and then do this more often and then eventually you're gonna, you're gonna uh, easily be able to sit close-eyed and then meditate watching your thoughts and your breath no matter how chaotic a uh, thought process can get because this is like one of the, mo uh, the, the main distractions that can uh, arise when you begin meditation, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how to begin meditation. If you wanna take up meditation, I, all I have to say is that's the most beneficial thing that anybody could ever do in their lives, okay? And it's the most uh, necessary thing that, that we can do in our lives as well uh, because it generates spatial awareness, it expands awareness, and everybody is, is on this earth plane to expand awareness this is literally what we're here for okay so it's like uh, a, a spiritual practice that it's one of the most iconic and simple spiritual practices okay and uh, we should all find some sort of meditation which I'm sure that that uh, we naturally do okay uh, if not on a conscious level on a subconscious level because this is how uh, integral and fundamental uh, meditation is in our life okay um, now once again meditation is very easy so if anybody's ever looking to get into meditation uh, just start you know uh, just get into any type of meditation that you want another uh, thing that I want to add is that what helped me uh, become uh, at least a little bit more meditative is uh, listening to guided meditation Okay, you can always go this route as well if you can't sit yourself down uh, without becoming more still, you know, uh, if you're just like super over stimulated and, and you're just used to living this way, you can go with guided meditations on like YouTube or anything, you know, uh, guided meditations will most of the time get you into a meditative state. Uh, and all you got to do is just follow what the what the um, what the meditation is telling you, you know, and then eventually you can just put the phone down 
you can uh, not use the phone and then you're gonna be in a meditative state after doing it for so long you know so it's like you can always go with guided meditations as well if you if you can't uh, go the, the traditional route without any type of stimuli you know uh, but yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about uh, when it comes to how to meditate uh, I'm definitely gonna go into more videos maybe I'll do uh, like an update on, on meditating for specific amounts of time you know um, I'll probably definitely do a video on that but that's gonna conclude it for today's video I hope everybody did enjoy and I hope I did help someone okay at least one person uh, become a little bit more meditative by taking up meditation hope I did uh, help any beginner meditators if they're uh, listening right now and if you are a advanced meditator make sure to comment down and uh, drop some information on meditation all right to uh, help me expand my knowledges okay subscribe over here to the left of me and uh, support the channel for more daily content drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura needs to be realized and strengthened for the collective rising consciousness one thing that you can actually do with meditation as well is uh open up the perception of the aura okay so uh one thing that we most have definitely lost throughout the uh i want to say the millennia or, or the centuries is the ability to perceive the the full aura you know but when you start to meditate you're going to open up the the aura the spiritual bodies once again okay and uh, this is very very fundamental for our existence as well or for our living okay um and this is expansion of consciousness so that's pretty much going to be it once again so uh one love peace out and enjoy your afternoon everyone